is cover les accents so the accents and normally when we talk about the accents we tend to insist on the accents which are on the top of the letter e uh, okay because they will change the the pronunciation of the the letter when you put the accents on the top of o e or a uh, well nowadays we don't really pronounce the 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 the, the, the differences uh, but then e uh, is still affected by that so you should really really first remember the name of the accent okay and it's normally like that okay and then the sound that you will have to pronounce uh, or to produce when you see it on the top of the uh, okay because so without any accent this letter if you remember we saw that previously is pronounced uh uh okay but then when you put this this one so this one is called accent aigu okay it goes like that in that direction okay and you will pronounce the the, the letter like a okay listen to the difference without the accent uh with the accent a okay without a uh, and with a all right second accent that we can work on it's a little bit the same but it goes in the other direction so if you look it goes like that okay and then it's called accent grave accent grave okay and the sound that you will have to produce is a so it's really open I mean the sound is really open and normally your mouth should be opened a little bit more than with the accent aigu as well okay so it goes like a all right don't don't be afraid to insist a little bit on the pronunciation okay uh, first and then you can make it uh, shorter after of course a a all right so let's compare them the first one is a and then the second one is a all right the good news is that the next one so accent circonflexe is pronounced like accent grave okay so it's the same pronunciation here okay and it's the open one okay a right okay a all right so you can see that it's just like a little hat that you get to put on the top of a uh, okay so let's see one more time the differences this one a okay and then these two accents like here a open a okay the last one tréma well basically it's quite rare and the tricky thing is that in some cases you will have to you will have to pronounce it like a okay like for instance noel okay but then in some cases as well it can be pronounced like a okay so my advice would be try to remember the word and they are really really ra rare so don't don't be don't be afraid about that okay so but that let's focus on the three main accents here okay the first one accent aigu remember a accent grave a and the last one accent circonflexe a